Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from IIT JAM MS 2020, problem number 8. The problem says that let x1, x2 up to x10 be a random sample from normal 1, 2 distribution. If x bar is equals to 1 by 10, summation xi, i running from 1 to 10, and s square is equals to 1 by 9, summation xi minus x bar whole square, i running from 1 to 10, then variance of s square is equals to what? So there are four options. So this is actually a very easy problem. The thing is, the random sample is taken from a normal distribution with mean 1 and variance 2. And x bar is the sample mean. And s squared is nothing but the sample variance, right? So we have to find the vari variance of the sample variance, right? So for a normal distribution, we know that this is the normal distribution from the sample, uh, the sample from the from which the sample has been taken, and this is x bar and s square. So we know that from uh, from a normal distribution, if the sample is from a normal distribution, the x bar, the sample mean, actually follows normal the, with the same mean, but the variance divided by the number of terms in the sample, the size of the sample. So this is two by ten. So x bar also, x bar follows normal one comma two by ten, right? We know that and we also know that the n minus 1 into s square divided by sigma square follows chi square n minus 1 so here n is 10 that means n minus 1 is nothing but 9 so 9 s square by sigma square sigma square is 2 so 9 s square by 2 follows chi square 9 chi square 9 means chi square with 9 degrees of freedom so this thing 9 not remember not the s square but n minus 1 into s square by sigma square here sometimes people can get confused the distribution of x bar follows normal but the distribution of not the x square but the n minus 1 to s square by sigma square this thing follows chi square n minus 1 here n is 10 so n minus 1 is 9 so n minus 1 into s square divided by sigma square sigma square is 2 so 9 s square by 2 follows chi square 9 so obviously we know that this entire random variable we can consider it as a random variable if this follows chi square n then variance of this thing is twice the degrees of freedom, right? The variance of the chi square n distribution is twice the degrees of freedom, is 2, 2n, right? Twice the degrees of freedom. So, variance of 9 s square by 2, this thing is actually 18 because this follows chi square 9. So, the variance of this thing is twice that, twice the degrees of freedom. So, 2 into 9, that means 18. So, this is variance of 9 s square by 2. But we want only the variance of s square, right? So, that means 9 square by 2 square into variance of s square because obviously the constant gets squared out so it's 18 that means variance of s squared is nothing but 8 by 9 right so variance of s squared is nothing but 8 by 9 very easy it was a very easy problem actually it was it was very very easy and so what to know about this problem or how to solve it it was just to know how to the that the distribution of s squared is this thing now, if you had not known that, then if you had not known that from the beginning, that means from the theory from your classes, then that would have been a bit difficult to find out from the the, the finding out the uh, distribution of x bar is actually quite easy because it is nothing but a linear linear uh, linear combination of all the random variables of all the x one through x ten. So that was easy. That would have been easy if you even if you had forgotten the parameters, it would have been easy to calculate. But s square would have been a bit difficult, a bit difficult to find out. Had you not known the thing from any from very very beginning, so you should be knowing the distributions of that. Now this is only under the assumption of normality. This s square, this this, this thing n minus one times s square by sigma square is follows chi square n minus one is only under the assumption of normality. Here obviously it is true because the sample is taken from normal distribution, but otherwise it is not not true in general that this follows chi square, right? So you have to keep that in mind. A lot of people confused with that. This is only under the assumption of normality, which is ob obviously true in, true in this problem. So, yeah. So, yeah, there you have it, the solution to this problem. So, do like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more exciting problems. See you till next time.